You're watching Ask the Doctor with VSON Alpine. And joining us now, we have Dr. Beam, who's coming in from Crested Butte this morning. And we're so excited to have you with us. And you've built a quite uh, successful practice down in Southwest Colorado. So like you mentioned, you've got Crested Butte, Gunnison, Telluride, and yes. there's lots of injuries. And uh, why don't we yes. get to the questions? We've got sure. our little boot here with some questions <laughs> from um, some actual real life people with real questions. Fabulous. So we'll start out with this one. How do I keep from tearing my ACL this winter? That's an excellent question. So number one, you want to have good equipment that fits properly. So you want to make sure that your bindings are properly fitted to your height, your weight, and your skiing abilities. That's a big one. Um, number two, lessons are really important. And even if you're a great skier, if you learn how to fall properly, that's going to reduce your risk of ACL injury. Also, when you're starting to ski, warm up three to five minutes, you know, run in place or do some jumping jacks if you don't care about looking goofy um and then do one or two um runs that are kind of easy don't just jump into the back and do crazy stuff right away so that's really important okay good advice and you know what one of our questions is about ski conditioning it's um how important is ski conditioning really like can we just go off the couch here and, and like what sort of things can we do to mimic what we're gonna experience on the slopes. A lot of these injuries can be prevented if you're fit and you yeah. if you strengthen the right muscles, you have the right flexibility, you have good core strength, you have good cardio. All these things can reduce your risk of injury. I hear breaking your wrist is a common injury for snowboarders. Mm. What are some tips to avoid this injury? Yeah, that's, I'm so glad that question came up because I'm preaching all the time to the snowboarders Wear wrist guards, wear wrist guards. Yeah. And yeah. the literature has proven this. It shows that it can reduce risk of injury by tenfold. All right, I think this is our last question here. Okay, so this person is saying, I fell and hurt my knee. A week later, it's still painful. When should I see a doctor? So if it's still painful a week later, yeah, see a doctor. However, if the day you injured it, you had a twist, for instance, you had a twisting fall, you felt or heard a pop, and your knee swelled within an hour or two, don't wait a week. See a doctor right away, okay? Because 70% of the time with that scenario, you just popped your ACL. Your, your patients thank you, your future patients thank you, and uh, sounds like you've got a great uh, set of practices down there. And uh, if we make it down there, you know, maybe on the Epic Pass, head down to Crested Butte, a little pony oh. ride. We know we'll be Do in it. good hands if we need your services. Well, thank you. Hopefully you won't. Follow my recommendations and you won't, okay? Yes. Yeah, perfect. So. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Yes. That's uh, Dr. Beam with VSON Alpine.